Time to get juiced. Yeah, we got people that's out there that are just riding the system, right? Mm-hmm. Riding whatever system, getting whatever kind of money they can and sitting there, you know, and then they teaching their kids the same exact thing. Yeah. I think accountability, account holding people accountable. Don't don't keep these same systems going because you got to be able to have a, a end point. If you don't have an end point to a system, and we can just say it's um, food stamps. If you don't have um, – uh, into it, then it's going to continue and people are going to abuse it. Whenever you give something to someone and they don't work for it, they don't appreciate it. They may say, man, thank you. I appreciate it. I pre-. But do they really appreciate it? Does it does it spike something in them to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go out and go get this myself. Does it? I know if I was given something, I'd be like, dang, man, I don't have to work now. I got it now. You know what I mean? That's how I would feel when it comes to, uh, you know, um, dealing with that. You know what I mean? Like, I, the, in in order to get people off the couch, off the block, because nobody's working, everybody's collecting a check, or they're doing the easy way, which mm-hmm. is through, you know, illegal activity, drugs or guns or whatever they're selling. You know what I mean? Um, you know, switch that up. I mean, you, you're selling all this stuff. You, you're trying to be an entrepreneur, but in a negative way. How about you use that same skill that you're using to sell them drugs, to sell them guns, to sell those perks, whatever you're doing. Switch it around. Think about looking at into a business. If you got that business mindset and you got people that's on your staff, mm-hmm. switch it around and do something good. Do something positive. That's what I would do, uh, um, you know, especially all the, the people that are out there that's doing those uh, deeds that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, from prostitution to everything, you know, when they're out there doing these things that are illegal to get a quick buck, put some effort. I mean, you will really appreciate it. You won't have to look over your back and try to, you know, uh, dodge the cops or, you know, being, you know, thinking everybody's sketchy and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I I feel like that that you know in order for these for these people that are just sitting around and is not doing anything they're going to definitely need to be held accountable. Let the government do it to them. Say, "Hey, no, you can't have it anymore. What you going to do now?" Don't uh, in, in the legal way is not the right way. I mean, that's the easy way, easy money, but it's not the right way. So I can do what I can do is in my small, you know, uh, circle, whatever. I can just emulate what right looks like, mm. and go with that. What What do you think? Well, uh, don't start my two minutes because he talked for at least one minute before you start. <laughs> uh, editor, I just want to point that out. I'm watching everything today. Okay, <laughs> it's truth telling time today. But uh, you said a couple of uh, good things. A um, couple of things I, I I challenge you on. So, and this will be you, the Canaanite spirit got into me. So Cain, are you saying you're against the assistance though? You brought up food stamps, okay? Uh, are you saying you're against it? The help? Well, well, we have to have something in place for those who are already in that predicament. But we have to get there, change their mindset. Okay, well, okay. Thank you for that political answer. So that is a yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on everything you say today. Okay, I just Go want ahead, you to listen. Know that. Listen closely. Yeah, listen yes. Closely. Uh, so, yeah. and I'm I'm glad you said that. Um, I'm gonna said this before doing our podcast back years ago. I think it was uh, President Clinton when uh, he was cutting. I think he cut food stamps, and I thought it was gonna be the end of, for a lot of families and and people. But it wasn't. So I'm for, you know, the assistance. And then, hey, we doing it. You started you on this program. It's 2023. Okay. I don't know how many months or if it's going to take a year, but it's going to cut off. It's going to dwindle down. So I'm for the assistance for people and then 
it slowly dwindles down and it slowly goes away because uh, I'm with you on that. We have to get some fire in our in our person to want to get better, to want to be that example that you're talking about, because usually people have families. They don't plan them out. They have families. They get on hard times or not prepared. Now they own food stamps or assistance. But if I see two person family, two parent family, mama going to work, daddy going to work, it's still love in that house. That's an example. We're here, we're doing this, but then, hey, we're not on assistance anymore. I got a question for you, bro. Okay, go. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 